everybody. This is Tiffany. I hope everyone's having a great day. I came on to give a prophetic word. So this is the second message, guys. So this dream, um, it, it was two dreams in this message here. So the first part of the dream, I was um, in this house and I had my daughter and I put my daughter on my hip and I started to rush out because it was two men like um, following me. And then I believe they had guns and then automatically, autom all of a sudden I had a gun in my right hand, but I'm still rushing out with my daughter, but they was following me. And then the scene transitioned to my brother-in-law in, in uh, the driver's seat of this car. And then it was someone else in the passenger seat and I was in the back. And I think I was with someone else as well. And we were driving to my sister's house. I had something to give my sister. So before we got to my sister's house, the person in the passenger seat wanted to switch seats with my brother-in-law so the person in the passenger seat wanted the to sit in the driver's seat my brother-in-law got so angry and he didn't want to um switch seats and this is the same brother-in-law that was in the dream when they were in the in the kitchen checking my cabinets with someone else that i couldn't recognize so i'll get to that in a minute with these people that you can't recognize um so yeah so we got to my sister's house and then I got out of the car and I didn't want to be with them anymore. So it was, it was, it's like the alarm tripped inside the building where my sister uh, lived. And it, everybody, it was so many people running out of, I guess, their houses. It was a whole bunch of people scattered. And then I'm trying to hide behind people that I don't know because I don't want to be seen. Um, and then my brother-in-law came into the building. It's like I saw him looking for me. Like, where am I? Where am I? And then that was the end of the the dream those two dreams so anytime you get a weapon that you didn't originally have in a dream that's father god giving you this protection so pretty much father god is just letting us know here that we are definitely protected um by him um doesn't matter what the enemy or whoever is um behind whoever is in the dream because those two men I didn't recognize. So this is all spiritual right now, right? So my brother-in-law being in the driver's seat when it transitioned, my brother-in-law, that's the, that's the, the he's the pinpoint, he's the focus regarding the controlling. So this is a person that, um, that has been in my family since I was 15 years old. So if it's not blood relatives here that's controlling it's someone like blood or like someone that has been married into your family and been part of your family for a long time um the reason he didn't want to give he didn't want to switch seat because he wants to be in the he wants to be in control me being in the back seat is something that you've always played you've played um the you always been not laid back but you always been in the back if that makes sense and you let everybody else control situations um and you have broken free from this situation uh regarding people places and things and this is what father god is trying to alert us with and this is why i wanted to i didn't want to be with them anymore in the dream and i'm trying to hide behind people and duck you know and then my brother-in-law coming and looking for me so um this is the same brother-in-law that was in that dream with the cabinets so because that is, and them looking in the cabinets, my brother-in-law, Father God is showing me some things that's going on there. So with these family members, because they don't know what's going on with you, they're trying to figure out what's going on with you. Um, you've disconnected from these family members. So you're going to know if this message is from you. For you, you've disconnected from these family members and they're trying to come back into your life to regain control somehow. Um, so let me see what I wrote down here. So let's see what's going on here. What did I write that here? Oh, okay. Um, pretty much I just, so stay alert, uh, controlling family member or members. So it could be more than one controlling family member you have and you've um, cut ties or you just distance yourself and they they're trying to come back into your life but it's in a discreet way in a way it's some they're trying it's like a manipulation thing because it's just like um you don't want to be there but it's not like it's they're okay with it they're not okay with that you know and because of the the two gentlemen that was following me and my daughter you know it, it it's a current thing you know what i mean so it's i didn't recognize who they were but they had weapons too so this is why Father God gave me a gun as well, just to let me know that I'm protected anyway. Doesn't matter what anyone is doing. Um, 
why they trying to regain control i have no idea so this is something that you really gonna have to go into prayer for but you're gonna know if this message is for you you're gonna know if you have a controlling family member or members in your family whether they be blood or um married into your family or people like family these are people that have been in your life for a long time um yes because certain things wasn't blatant for me i found out um you know from father god so it's not like things were just flashing in my face regarding what people were doing or the motives behind people so this is where it gets tricky because is you you're gonna know but they're not a hundred percent know all who is involved so i don't know who those people are there's certain people that's in situ in this situation that you're not aware of but they're aware of you again there's people that's connected to people that are um i could say tracking you following you um i'm not going to say stalking but that could be something as well that wants to regain control of your life but i'm not exactly sure why but father god's given us the heads up so therefore if they try to re-enter your life there's something that you will go into prayer you will go into prayer asking what to do and not just take things at face value if that makes sense because the motives aren't is not pure and behind the feeling behind the dream I, I felt uneasy okay you're protected by God but I don't know what the I don't know what their end goal is so because we don't know what the end goal is and Father God has given us the heads up you have to take this to Father God in prayer just to make sure you're on your P's and Q's at all time with family members with friends or people like family because for some reason they're trying to come back into your life but it's not uh it's it's not um it's not for good so so that's the end of this message. I hope this message helps somebody. Um, I love you guys. If you have any questions, you can always ask me. But take this to Father God and pray if you feel like this is for you. So then you'll be ahead of it and not let the situation be ahead of you, okay? I love you guys. Um, I have one more message, and I'll see you soon. God willing, God bless. Bye.